97.5 FM, Statenville, Valdosta, Georgia, Foxy, 97.5 FM. This is a weekly test of the emergency alert system. This station is testing equipment that can quickly warn you in the event of an emergency. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system.
This is a test of the emergency alert system. The emergency alert system. The following is a test. Only a test. Emergency alert, alert system. system. This, this is, is only a test. test. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. The me K236CK warranted. KWRE warranted.
Pennsylvania, all of Rhode Island, all of South Carolina, all of Virginia, all of Vermont, and all of West Virginia beginning at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. Test message you pause open copy as feed configuration test message. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test was conducted from the Idaho State Communications Center in Meridian, Idaho, and is now concluded. The green is Over the of quiet, we could test for all of Connecticut, all of districts of Columbia, all of Norway, all of Florida, all of Georgia, all of Indiana, all of Kentucky, all of Massachusetts, all of Maryland, all of Maine, all of Michigan, all of North Carolina, all of New Hampshire, all of New Jersey, all of New York, all of Ohio, all of Pennsylvania, all of Rhode Island, all of South Carolina, all of Virginia, all of Vermont, and all of West Virginia beginning at 11 or 1 a.m. and p.m. Test message you pause open cap AS feed configuration test message. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. To require a weekly test for last MN, a steel MN, beginning at 11.12 a.m. and ending at 12.12 p.m. This is a required weekly test of iPaws from the Rice and Steel 911 Center. This is only a test. Conducting a required weekly test of the emergency activation system. This is only a test. Sedgwick County Emergency Management will be testing the outdoor warning sirens at noon today. Sedgwick County outdoor warning sirens are tested every Monday at noon, except holidays, and when threatening weather is present. Today we will be testing the alert mode, for one minute. The alert mode is a steady tone used for tornado warning, the attack mode is a classic rise and fall sound used for air attack warning in times of war. Outdoor warning sirens are designed to be an early warning device primarily for persons who are outside away from the television and or radio. Remember, when the outdoor warning sirens sound, take cover, tune into local media, take action. 
Emergency management officials highly recommend citizens keep a NOAA weather radio in their homes, preferably in the bedroom, with a tone alert for those times when you are not monitoring public media. This broadcast originates from Sedgwick County Emergency Management located at 714 North Main, Wichita, Kansas. WPMQ 391. No action required test only. Utah, and all of Wyoming beginning at 1 o'clock p.m. and ending at 2 o'clock p.m. Test message I pause open cap EAS feet configuration test message. Due to required weekly test for Shawnee KS beginning at 1.11 p.m. and ending at 1.26 p.m. This is a test of the Shawnee County IPWAS. This is only a test. No actions needed. EM, minus six, this is a test of the Shawnee County IPWAS. This is only a test. No actions needed, no action is needed. This is only a test. issued a law enforcement warning for Stark OH, beginning at 2.05 p.m. and ending at 4.05 p.m. Protected. Alliance Police Department is looking for two-year-old Cole Smart who was abducted by Nicole Middleton on Saturday night from 530 E. Oxford Street. Cole is a white male child with curly light-colored hair. 
If you have seen them or have information, please call APD at 3-3-0-8-2-1-9-1-4-0. Check our APD for C-Book page for pictures. Please call Alliance Police Department if seen. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Alaska beginning at 3 o'clock p.m. and ending at 4 o'clock p.m. Test message I pause open cap EAS feet configuration test message. The following is a coastal flood warning from the National Weather Service for the following county, Kent, Delaware. What? One to two feet of inundation above ground level is expected in low-lying areas near Sussex and tidal waterways. Where? Tidal areas in the Delaware counties of Sussex and Kent. When? From 4 p.m. Tuesday until midnight on Tuesday night. Impacts. At this level, widespread roadway flooding occurs in coastal and bayside communities and along inland tidal waterways. Many roads become impassable. Some damage to vulnerable structures may begin to occur. Additional details, spotty minor tidal flooding may occur through early Tuesday afternoon, with additional lingering minor tidal flooding possible from late Tuesday night into Wednesday. Take the necessary actions to protect flood-prone property. If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. The National Weather Service in League City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Grimes County in southeastern Texas, southeastern Brazos County in southeastern Texas, until 4 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Navasota, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Navasota, Anderson, Todd Mission, and Plannersville. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Hawaii beginning at 11 a.m. and ending at 12 p.m. Test message e pause open cap EAS feet configuration test message. Emergency management. The only action required by recipients in the state of Kansas is flood to warning in effect from this evening to tomorrow morning. Minor flooding is forecast. Areas affected include the Satonic River at Stevenson Dam. When, from this evening to Tuesday morning, impacts include at 11.0 feet flood stage. At 4:30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Monday, the stage was 10.1 feet. Forecast: The river is expected to rise to a crest of 11.0 feet this evening. It will then fall below flood stage after midnight tonight. Flood stage is 11.0 feet. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. This is a test of the emergency alert system.
This has been a test of the emergency alert system. KHPR Honolulu, KKUA Wailuku, KANO Hilo, KHPH Kailua Kona, KIPL Lihue, KJHF Kuala Pu'u. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of American Samoa beginning at 6 o'clock p.m. and ending at 7 o'clock p.m. Test message I pause open cap EAS feet configuration test message. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Lice MN and Steel MN beginning at 9.02 p.m. and ending at 10.02 p.m. This is a required weekly test of iPaws from the Rice and Steel 911 Center. This is only a test. away from shore and into deeper water. Additional details, spotty minor tidal flooding may occur through early Tuesday afternoon, with additional lingering minor tidal flooding possible from late Tuesday night into Wednesday. Take the necessary actions to protect flood-prone property. If travel is required, do not drive around barricades or through water of unknown depth. Stay out of the surf. <laughs> 